And just today, CDOT picking construction companies to start repairs on US 34 in the Big Thompson Canyon, State Highway 7 from Lyons to Estes Park, and State Highway 72 in Cold Creek Canyon. New at 10, 7 News reporter Marshall Zellinger finding out how some of the temporary work might look. Mike, this is animation of what a temporary bridge construction would look like. I'm going to hit play to get it started for you. Uh, as we first told you last week, temporary bridges will be built like erector sets similar to this. Tonight I spoke with a bridge company who tells me they could build a temporary bridge similar to this that will last years and they could build it in just days. Now that the contractors are picked, the work begins to build temporary bridges to reconnect communities by winter. This is an animation of a temporary bridge being built. The company, Maybe Inc., has already brought these supplies to Greeley, ready to build. That particular bridge that's being animated there can be built uh, with a, a good sized crew, three to five people on the crew in probably four to five days. Rick Ferreira has been in contact with the construction companies already picked to replace the missing roads and bridges. A temporary bridge, like in this animation, is put together like an erector set on one side of the water, pushed to the other side, then secured to the ground, paved, and ready for traffic. Normal highway speeds that are posted as of today, not today, but on normal, on normal condition. 55, 65, not a problem. The governor calling for temporary roads to be in place by December 1st. Permanent roads and bridges will take years. Typically, they're, they're less than a two-year period, but that bridge can sit there five, eight years, whatever they need it for. CDOT already pledging its entire emergency fund, $100 million for bridges similar to this temporary type bridge. Uh, this type of bridge goes for about $70,000 per year to rent, and I'm told with installation and the abutments on both sides of the water, it would go about six figures. Reporting live, Marshall Zellinger, 7 News.